Yeah. Guys, congratulations. Barb and Paul got such high marks just before you took the ice. What was going through your mind? How did it affect you? Uh, first of all, it was my last national championship when I was last to skate and all my like all my rivals got 5.9s, you know. I've been there. I knew how to handle this kind of pressure. I was like, this is just the stars when I show. This is fine. I'm going to do my best. This is it. Well, that was it. You skated so beautifully and you've been skating so beautifully. How would you say you've changed as performers out there? Um, I don't know. Have you changed? Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. Because, you know, now we skate more like for the audience and for each other. Right. We do not think about marks anymore, about anything but skating itself. Congratulations again. Thank you. Thank Thanks. You okay. Thanks, okay. Andrea. There you go. There you go. And that's the new team of Underhill and Martini competing with each other. <laughs> Come on. Barbara Underhill and Paul's son, Robert, working <laughs> off their adrenaline backstage. Coming later, the men's championship. Brian Boitano made a rare mistake in the technical program. This miss of the triple flip you never see, but he had the presence of mind at a double sow to try to cover the mistake. That opened the door, and Paul Wiley jumped through it. Nice big triple lutz there, one foot and a double loop. Very difficult combination for any professional. Then came Victor Petrenko. Big triple axle, you can see, saves that landing. You're rotating three and a half times around in the air. Beautiful job. Petrenko and Wiley are tied for first. Boitano lurking in third. We'll decide the men's professional skating title later today. Hi, I'm Tracy Wilson. Right now we're getting set for round two of the ladies' championship. It is really very simple. There are 12 women in the field, but only eight will get to